I've done most of the things. Cal Day will give you one perspective on UC Berkeley, but there's a lot more to it than information stands can tell you. Here are some spots that you will see around campus, and some that you might have missed. So this is Lower Sproul Plaza. As you can see, there's not much here right now. We have the Bears there over to my left, uh, and we have Zeller Rock over to my right. Uh, but the plaza itself is usually pretty empty, even emptier than this um, on most days. But in the coming years, it's going to be remodeled because the Bears Initiative was passed by the students, uh, which appropriates a student fee toward remodeling Lower Sproul Plaza. So we can look forward to seeing that happen. So right now we're in the Bears Lair. This place has been a point of contention for uh, many years among the ASUC store operations board. Right now it's actually m lunchtime around uh, noon, and not too many people are here. That said, there are some good places here, especially like the coffee spot, which you see right behind me. In contrast, this is Upper Sproul Plaza. Uh, there are usually quite a few people here, as you see right now. Uh, to the left of me, on the steps of Sproul, there's a group performing, which sometimes happens. Uh, there's usually some activity up there. Uh, usually a lot of student groups come up and table uh, up here, as you can see behind me right now. Here we have the Golden Bear Cafe, which is probably where you're going to be getting lunch a lot next year, but just be warned, it's usually pretty crowded around lunchtime. The good thing, though, is that you can use your meal points here, and oftentimes you will have many more than many views, especially by the end of the semester. The GBC offers salads, soups, and sandwiches, in addition to various drinks and juices. However, their prices are often quite high. Next, let's take a look at the various buildings around campus. Right here we have Cornell Hall. If you're a humanities major, you'll probably be spending a lot of time here. Someone might tell you about the kind of weird numbering flooring system in Dwinnell, and they might talk about it as a point of pride, but trust me, when you're a freshman here, you will have trouble finding your classes. So if you're going to be a humanities major, uh, make sure you know the floors very well, because there are no floor numbers, you just have letters to go off. Dwinnell Hall also hosts Common Grounds, which has a Pete's Coffee in it. Students often go there between classes to grab a drink or study. You can also access Air Bear's wireless internet from there. Other campus buildings range from dull and uninspiring to intricate and monolithic. One of the most impressive architectural feats on campus other than the Campanile is the Haas School of Business. Haas is just down the way from a few less talked about dorms on campus, including Foothill. So this is basically a typical suite in the Foothill complex. This is actually La Loma, which is next to Hillside, and is farther away from other dorms on campus. Uh, so we have a common room right here, and over down this direction, we have the restroom area. There are usually three or more rooms in a typical Foothill suite. So this is Bulls Hall. It's an all-men's dormitory on campus. Uh, and I lived here my freshman year, and it gets a bad rap from prospective freshmen. But it's actually quite impressive looking and not a bad place to live. And it's right next to the football stadium, which is to my left. Uh, the disadvantage is, however, that it's extremely close to the Hayward Fault Line. So if there's an earthquake coming, then Bulls is probably not the safest place to live. This is the Greek Theater. It's right next to Foothill and Bulls Hall. Uh, it hosts a lot of concerts from big names like uh, Andrew Bird, Death Cab for Cutie, Feist, My Morning Jacket. So it's really great to come to UC Berkeley because you have access to a bunch of great concerts. Uh, and in the coming months, uh, the Greek Theater will host Jack Johnson. So that's something to look forward to. But you don't have to hear it from me. Here are other students' favorite spots on campus. Campus. My favorite spot on campus is Eshelman because that's where a lot of the student organizations are and that's where the ASUC, uh, your student government, is located in and I think it's my favorite spot because um, a lot of people do a lot of things there. They organize and they hold programs and they plan for a lot of things that benefit okay, the campus. Our favorite spot on Cal is right here because you get a view of the library, Memorial Blade, you got the East Asia in the back and then there's a nice view of the Campanile right there. Yeah, so I think my favorite place on campus is probably Free Speech Movement Cafe. Uh, it's open till 2 in the morning, which is good for late studying. Also, they make the best mochas with extra whipped cream. For the Daily Californian, this is Rajay Srinivasan. Thanks for watching.